Hi everyone and a Merry Christmas to you. I hope you'll be keeping well. Now, it is uh, about a week to go to Christmas, uh, time to start to get excited. Um, and I was thinking Christmas is one of those times of year when you do things you wouldn't do at any other time. The traditions that we get for Christmas. For instance, this tree behind me here, we cut a tree down, drag it in the house and decorate it with loads of stuff. You would not do that at any other time of year. But we do this, it was um, popularized by Queen Victoria. She got it off uh, Prince Albert, who, who bought it from Germany, a tradition they did over there. And so as soon as she started doing it, the rest of the country wanted to be the same. So that's where Christmas trees come from. Father Christmas, as we celebrate, is based on St Nicholas, as we know, um, who gave out gifts to children in the fourth century. But the look and feel of Santa Claus really came from not Coca-Cola, as many people seem to think, but from a few sort of 56 years before that, there was a popular drawing done of Santa Claus looking a bit like this. Coca-Cola adopted it, inherited it, put a can of Coke in his hand, and there you know, that's where that image comes from. Another thing that we celebrate as tra traditionally at Christmas. And one other thing, Christmas crackers. We don't do these on our birthdays. We don't pull crackers on our birthdays. Why do we do them at Christmas? Well, some guy in the 1850s was trying to sell sugared almonds and was struggling and thought, how can I make it a bit more popular? He was sat in front of a fire, heard the crackling and thought that would be a good thing to do, to put inside the gift as it opens and that's where crackers came from. I wouldn't want to have been the product tester in the 1850s when he decided how to work out how to make those pop, but he did and they have been carrying on ever since then. Christmas, we do these traditions and they are great fun and they help to make the whole of Christmas up. There are some traditions that we inherit in and some traditions that we even develop ourselves as families and individuals. Uh, for instance, we have these in our house, Christmas stockings. This is mine with the J on the front, or could be Joe's, either way around. Um, and we fill those up, and even at our, our ripe old ages, and the boys' ages, we still fill those with things for Christmas morning for everyone to wake up to. Um, and we have these traditions that we do ourselves. We go to church on Christmas Day, and we love the whole thing, and seeing the kids with the presents that they've had, and just celebrating the day together. And that's a tradition that we've always done. And I think it's a real opportunity at Christmas to bring the traditions that we get from elsewhere and also start to form our own traditions that we do as families and as individuals each year. And it's really good that you, for me, if you get those on a Christ-centred basis, going to church, for instance, or even doing it online this year will be a really good thing. If you don't usually do, that'll be something maybe you could say, I want to start this tradition for me or my family and do that from this year going forward. Um, and it's good, I think it's right to get Christ and God right at the centre of Christmas, even the day when it is so busy and there's so much going on, to get Christ at the centre of that is absolutely fundamental to what we should be doing. I just want to read a verse out to you for Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. It's a verse many of you will know. And whatever you do, Whatever in word or deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. If we are encouraged to do everything we do in the name of Lord Jesus, how much more so on his birthday where we celebrate that, to do that day with him at the centre of it. Have a think about that leading up to Christmas and see what you might just alter to put and to keep Christ at the centre of the day. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas and I'll speak to you in the new year.